My name is Chris Titus and I am a mother of four boys, two sons and two stepsons. I serve on the board of directors for an organization in Canada called Fathers for Justice. We are a non-violent direct action group. We are committed to changing the laws in Canada and globally to make equal parenting a presumption in law so that we can stop the systemic male bias happening in our family law systems around the world. This system is designed specifically to bankrupt the father and force him out of his family. This is not acceptable in today's society. We have spent the last 25 years encouraging men to take a more active role in their family life and they have embraced this principle. We don't have the right to turn around and say you no longer hold the right or the role of parent over your children. Our children across the world are facing extreme diversity and extreme adversity because of what is happening to their fathers. A fatherless society leads to children having academic issues, children having problems with depression. We are telling our children and our young boys that their dreams and their aspirations mean nothing, that they can lose everything that they've ever known and loved in a single glance. We must do everything that we can to stop this. Fathers for Justice Canada will not stop until we have accomplished our goal. Our organization makes this a matter of rights. It is the most basic human right for a child to have not only the love and support, but the physical safety and security that both of their parents provide to them. It is time for our legislators, it is time for our parliamentarians to recognize that this problem is affecting every area of our society. If you have a complaint about your taxes, maybe you need to look at how much of those taxes are going to incarcerating good fathers who have fallen down on their luck. How much of your taxes are going to pay for a health care system where mental illness is one of the largest growing factors in our society? We have men who are in the most desperate of states flying our airplanes and driving our trains and we have a society of children that is growing up with no value system. This should concern all of us greatly. If you are a mother, if you are a father, if you are a grandparent or a grown child of divorce, you must make this an issue that concerns your daily life and you must make it something worth fighting for. Citizens have to take care of adult children that are now bankrupt and have to be brought back into their home. And a bankrupt society is not going to be able to maintain the demands that our senior population is going to make on our system. In every single way, we are tearing at the fabric of our society.